back to my channel. My name is Yetine and today I have with me my personal makeup artist. Hey, my name is Oinda. I don't have makeup on because ugh, I just couldn't, but... <laughs> <laughs> you can see her work right here. So don't judge her based on that. Mm -hmm. Judge me based on this. Just imagine this is me. <laughs> okay. Alright, so what's your Instagram name? Where can they find you? Um, my Instagram for makeup is at e.a.makeup and that's it and your makeup line oh wait it's okay so i have <laughs> i have a makeup brand and it's e.a beauty so the makeup page is e.a dot makeup and the makeup line is e.a beauty that's right it. okay and i use a lot of my products on her face yes so i will be posting a video probably later in the week of a makeup look she did on me and she basically used the entire eye look was all her products mm -hmm. so i will be listing that in the product in the description box below mm -hmm. anyways so today we'll be doing the nigerian tag because i haven't done it yet and why not when i'm with my nigerian friend <laughs> so let's get right into it first question were you born in nigeria well i was so was i actually <laughs> um do you live in Nigeria or have you ever lived in Nigeria? Oh, I mean, I'm kind of in and out. You're like back and forth. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so it's like 50 so, 50. Mm -hmm. For me, <laughs> for you. Me, I lived in Nigeria till I was like nine. So that was oh, like 2006. Mm -hmm. I haven't been back since. So, mm -hmm. that's a long time. So, no, I don't live in, in Nigeria. Nigeria no. Which part of Nigeria are you from? Um, it's the southwest, it's called Akita State, but I leave. I think we have this thing where we have our hometowns and where we leave, yeah. And it's usually not the same. So, I'm from Akita State, but I live in Lagos, okay. You, <laughs> like, like, okay, like I'm interviewing you. <laughs> what about it's you? always weird. Um, I'm from Ondo State. So I was born in Owo, which is in Ondo. My mom's from there as well. Mm. I do not speak the language. My okay. mother does. And I understand it. Mm -hmm. And I actually lived in Ilara for a while. So I was in Akura for a while, actually. Okay. But yeah, so I'm from Ondo State. What is your favorite Nigerian song? I really like Case. Tenny. Huh? Oh, Tenny. Ah, yes. I like Tenny a lot. I like Case. Tenny Entertainer. Yes, I like I like her. In fact, I think I like. Then I like surrender. Ah, uh, so wait, hold on. Let me just play. Case Sorry, first, no. or which case one? is right here. Oh wow! <laughs> Did you say it because you could see it there? Wow! Hey, this is the new dance. Like everybody freaking shakus to everything. I don't know how to do it. So my favorite song right now, actually. It's her song too. It's called Uyo Mayo. I don't know how to say oh it. Oh my god. That's from my side. <laughs> we have to play that one. Soon. I don't know how to pronounce I it, but it's by her, Uyomeyo. by Tenny. Oh, oh, oh. Uyo Mayo. I think that's how you yeah, pronounce Uyomeyo. it. Because oh. she speaks, she does it in like her original, like native dialect. I actually really like this song. I think I like Tenny as a whole. Hey, hey. Hey. You cannot play too much, right? No. <laughs> What's your favorite Nigerian movie? Uh, why is it so hard? <laughs> oh wait, Skinny Girl in Transit. Does it have That's to be not like a, a movie? movie. <laughs> That's a show on YouTube. Does it have to be a movie? Movie? Okay. You should check out Skinny Girl in, in Transit though. It's really good. Really good. The thing is so weird that I cannot just find one that my mind just goes to. So right, it means so I really like. I'm sure there's one that you're like, I really like this movie. I mean, if somebody says or talks about it or like mentions some of it, I'll probably say, oh, oh right. but honestly, I like, right now. I loved Madame Dearest. Yeah, my own. It's a really old movie. It must have been very and, Yeah. And I also, recently, I like, the wedding party was cute. The first one. The first one. The second one, eh. It was too much. It was just a lot going on. But the first wedding party was really cute and I really liked it. I think it's on Netflix now. You can go check it out. Mm -hmm. <laughs> what is your favorite Nigerian food? I already know mine. I actually like, this so something called abula. I love it. Okay. It's... <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm like a fake Nigerian. I don't know a lot of things. It's, it's um, you put amala, 
they spread it in a bowl mm -hmm. and they put a redo on it with the like in the bakery in the middle yeah. and the soup in the middle with the urushi urushi nuero and the shaki so and the, yeah it is but the reason why they call it abula is that they are is putting it, in it the on top yeah but i've done that too when i was little we used to do that with Ebad and, and i don't like it homemade like from the it has to be bukami. Nigerian restaurants. It has to be Buka made. Buka is Nigerian restaurants, yeah. <laughs> Local ones. Right. So you don't like your mom's cooking? <laughs> <laughs> she must not see this video out there. I'm sending it to her. I love. I love her cooking, but there's just something about locally no, made Buka food. Buka food. Like they it, usually taste different, but it's like good different. It's I know what she's saying. <laughs> I don't know what they do or how they make it. But it's just something about it just tastes so different. Really good. It's like so good. And mm -hmm. they always give you so much meat and the oh, God. It's good. Memories. We yes. need to go back though. So we're going on Monday to a restaurant actually. Yep. And that's what I'm gonna have. That's what I'm thinking of having. Yeah. Okay. I like powdered yam with elastic. So that's basically That's very actually that's very weird. Why? Pounded yam and okra. Like ha Pounded yam goes with a goosey. Ew. That's the whole idea. That's why it founded yam. That's why yam was founded. I don't like a goosey soup. That's like if there's nothing else in the house or are no other sick? option. Like, you, I think I'll you had a it. bad nope. first experience. Nope. My mom makes it all the time. It's good. I just don't particularly enjoy it. Wow. It's just not my go-to soup. She's weird. And you're from Ondo State. Yep. Wow. <laughs> Mention five Nigerian states. <laughs> Enugu. Para, Abia, Ekiti, and Lagos. I don't know any. I'm trying to remember. State, uh, capital, Abia, Umaya, Agamawa, you know, Aquaibo. <laughs> you, know, you did a good job, though. That's like, that's like the nursery rhyme. Because <laughs> I don't know anywhere else. Like, I know Akura and Ondo and like Lagos and all. Is Lagos a state or a city? Lagos is a state. Yeah, Wait, so well, there's Lagos, just like there's New York State and yeah, there's New York. Yeah, there's New York. Okay. Lagos, so Lagos, Lagos, Lagos. I know some things. What's Nigerian's official party food? Jollof. Jollof rice. <laughs> I tell you. So it's jollof rice. <laughs> jollof rice. Fried rice. Jollof girl. Jollof rice. If all, I mean, if all the food we should finish in a party. Right. There's always jollof rice. <laughs> jollof rice is the official. That's like, true. No other one stands against it. Right. There's always jollof rice. It doesn't matter what the occasion is. Wedding, birthday, funeral, baby shower, anything. It's you always, always jollof find jollof rice. And if all other food is crap, jollof rice. And that's not to say the jollof rice is always good. Well, well, what? <laughs> I know there's Here. the whole thing with like Nigerian jollof and Ghana, Ghana jollof. Jollo. I've never had Ghana jollof, so I don't know. But the Nigerian jollof rice that I've had is only like a handful of people that can make it. Especially party jollof, I don't eat. Because it's I, never, I don't I, know if they just. Have you eaten jollof rice like in Nigeria? Not that I can remember. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> That's why. Maybe when I go to you Nigeria, need to give me the go home <laughs> to a Nigerian proper Nigerian wedding in Nigeria, Lagos wedding. You need jello fries. Okay, we we'll do that. Mm -hmm. Actually, I might call my mom to make jello fries. <laughs> Yo, call me. <laughs> <laughs> no, I swear. Sometimes I'll be at work and mm -hmm. a food will like come up on Instagram. And I screenshot it and send it to her. She's like, you're on Instagram again, aren't you? Because that's when you'll be sending me some stupid Ooh. pictures. <laughs> what do you eat when you're broke and hungry Gary. in Nigeria? Gary. <laughs> I didn't even, I didn't want to hear in Nigeria. <laughs> Everywhere. There's I always Gary in the house. There might be nothing else. You will always find, if there's no Gary, that's when you know you're like broken, broken and broke. Like you're broke. Like it's beyond broke yeah so there's always gary in the house mm, and my sorry. my things like gary with like peanuts and sugar you know lately i've been liking gary without just with ice no sugar like just with ice cubes and um and well it has to be jeff gary though cold water yeah with, you always do with ice with, like ice cold water ice cold water without sugar it's so sour without sugar i mean there's just something to it is nice, I guess. 
But if I have to do it with peanuts and stuff, it has, there has to be milk. There has to be like everything. I never, I tried to with the milk. I just feel like it just takes away the taste of the guy with milk. Like it tastes okay, but it's not like I'm drinking it. all the, it changes it the makes taste. It happy. It, it makes it become Gary that has master's degree. Fat. <laughs> pronounce the following words. So there are different cultures that will pronounce those words <laughs> differently. Yes. Why? So oil, if you will. <laughs> If it was an evil person that said oil, I was gonna say oil. <laughs> it's oil. Oil. You say oil. Oil. <laughs> it's the same thing. Yam. Some would have said yam. Well, I don't know which tribe would have pronounced this weird. For ear, mm -hmm. your black people here. Here. For happy, you they, should, they should have put hair. Oh, then hair. they would say, yeah. Braid your ear. Yeah. Yeah, because well, my mom says that all the time. Well, I mean, it's still the H factor. <laughs> right. Yes. Mm -hmm. Then for happy, did I say happy? Happy. We don't have H in our alphabet. We don't. In Yoruba? Yeah. Yes, we don't. Actually. We, do we don't not. have some. We actually don't have some. We're, because when letters. I first left Nigeria, I took an ESL class and my main focus was pronouncing words with H's. Because I would not pronounce them. Wow. And then that's when I realized, I'm like, we don't have that letter. So, I don't, then I don't know. Then teacher? Teacher. Tisha. Tisha. Ah, Jennifer Star. <laughs> Jennifer Star. Faster. Well, I mean, I don't know how much this would have been. Junction is Calabar people. Junction. Hey. <laughs> Junction. Like, the Spanish the people, J? the J is a Y. Y, exactly. Junction. Exactly. So this is our big young chum. Young young chum. Young chum. Young chum. <laughs> What's your Nigerian name? <clears throat> um, my Nigerian. Well, I bear my Nigerian name. What about to say? Like your full Nigerian, name, I guess. My Nigerian name is Oni Damola Atinke Fadike. Okay. Mine is Yetunge Shewutiti Ayola Sendi. Oh, Shewutiti. You actually look like a titi, you know. Titi, my grandma gave me that name. Yeah. When was the last time you were in Nigeria? <laughs> last year. Last year. December. Uh, me was 2006. You should go. <laughs> you should actually go this year. You should go Not this December. year. Do you have a Nigerian nickname? Uh, well, yes, I did when I was a baby. They used to call me Oyinsko. Oyinsko. So this was the song. Oyinsko, Oyinsko. She has a whole song. Oh, you school, Tani, you mom. Oh, you damala. So I was the only child for five years and I was really spoiled. I bet. I <laughs> <laughs> so they used to sing that song to make me calm down when I was. Stop. <laughs> Mine was just Yeti. Yeti mama. That's it. Yeti, oh, Yeti, me die. Yeti. Yes. <laughs> My name has a song too. Every name has a song. <laughs> <I> think... <laughs> what tribe are you? We're, we're both Yoruba. Yoruba from the south. Yes. Yeah. Say something in your tribal language. Bruh. I'm very bad. I'm very bad. <laughs> well, she'll be horrible. Maybe My accent is horrible. First, go first. Go first. I don't even know what to say. Okay. Say my makeup is nice in Yoruba. <laughs> no. <laughs> I don't even know how to say that. Um, your makeup is nice. Uh, makeup word that you know, you have to make up in your. I say makeup in Yoruba. You can't. There's no Yoruba word mm. for that. Well, I mean, there, there is a. There, it's probably a phrase. Right? Like Okunju. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's like Okunju. Okunju. No, you have to say it in another way, like ah. Uh, Molai like boche kunju. Yes, Molai like boche. I like the way you painted your face. On on tasson on on glow. Legit, I just say glue. No, but Nigerians do do that. They put a lot of English words. On on the modern Nigerians. I said the original Nigerians. Those are the modern here. They are not the olden days here. Right. Yeah. So I don't really speak Yoruba much because, like, I like you can hear. I sound like my mom says I sound like Ibera. Well, that's not bad. So we don't do that. But don't try it next to me because I do understand. Every yep. dialect in Nigeria do not of Yoruba it. variations, I understand them, so don't try me. <laughs> what do you most like about Nigeria? I like our sense of humor. We 
we could literally really have to, fun at, yeah at anything and at any time anything. like no matter how bad like the situation of the country you still find people that you will still find something that would make you laugh you could step out and conduct his fight with drama so it's just entertaining anything. it's just a people that like to be happy despite right. their situation which is I think, enjoyment galore yeah it's kind of suffering and smiling. <laughs> Smile through your pain. Do you speak pigeon English? Well, I'm horrible. What do you do now? Ah, uh, uh, confirm. <laughs> okay. It's okay. Oh, That's okay. It's okay. It's all right. That's a different. That's identify English. That's different English. What around your house represents your culture? in the bathroom? No. Damn. So she doesn't have anything that represents her culture apart from herself. <laughs> her native clothes in the closet. Well, um, I don't even have those. I left them. Wow. Wait, wait, wait. I brought one. I brought one. I brought one. Wow. I'm on a journey at her right now. So my house, <laughs> we have a broom. We have the bucket in the bathroom. We have the thing you make about with, what is it? Oh, the turning stick. What's your Ibaco. Ibaco. Oh, no, no, Ibaco is the scooper. Um, Amorogun. Amorogun. We have that. What else? I think that's all I can think of right now. What makes you different from other Nigerians? What makes you different from other Nigerians? I don't know. Most people, when I tell them I'm Nigerian, they don't believe me. So, I don't know. Maybe mm -hmm. that. I don't know what a typical Nigerian is supposed to look like. For me, it's actually... People say I don't speak Nigerian. I, for some like you don't have a Nigerian accent. accent, so they they always say they probably think I'm from. I mean, it's hard to get or well, guess where I'm from, mm -hmm. but I don't have like a, you know how Nigerians most Nigerians have either a Yoruba accent or mm -hmm. Igbo. Or, for some reason, you can't place me. I think that's one thing that makes me different. I mm. think. Because if I'm going to say, oh, I'm hard working up a lot of every, Nigerians. Every Nigerian. <laughs> Even the lazy are ones are hard working. We are creative. <laughs> Most Nigerians, like Nigerians are just special people. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know what makes me different. Yeah, well, the way you look, though, you look like some, do I say, Mulan. Mulan. Or Chongwi. What? <laughs> you look Chinese. What? Ish. No. I, so. I definitely do not look Chinese. Girl. <laughs> Possibly not Chinese like bad will like I don't cute, like cat good way. Ish, no. Chinese. The most I've gotten is like maybe Dominican or Asian or like a little, Caribbean. No will Asian is not the same as Chinese, right? Is it? It is. Do you know what Chinese people look like? It's the same. Like okay, maybe that's like the maybe I should have said Asian. What kind of Asian? Like Indian Asian? Okay, they are white do. Not white people Asian. Like white Jackie Chan type of Asian? No, no, no. That's not what I was saying. No. Like. Because that's Chinese. See. Asian, right? Yeah. I got you. Yeah, no. Okay. No. <laughs> no. She ain't no porcelain skin. I was mm -hmm. like, what are you talking about? What were you mm -hmm. thinking of? I was thinking, I, I actually, I, I should have said Asian, not Chinese. Makes what sense. kind of Asian, like Malaysia and all those places? Well, Malaysian actually you could pass, maybe. The ones with black hair and cat eyes, I think. Nah. <laughs> well, that is the end of this video. Thank you for watching. Thank you for coming on my channel. Thank you. Hopefully next time you have me all made up. <laughs> Hopefully, hopefully, but, yeah. but this is literally her 90% of the time, so I wouldn't be surprised if you did it. <laughs> All right, well, it was nice being here. Yay, thanks for coming. You're it welcome. was fun. So, make sure you check out her Instagram page at e.a.makeup mm -hmm. and then her beauty, her brand, e.a.beauty. E.a. beauty. E dot a beauty. The difference is there are two dots in the makeup and one dot in beauty. I don't know why I did that, but <laughs> but everything is gonna be in the description <laughs> box. Yeah. <laughs> so thank you for tuning in. I will see you guys in my next video. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up. If you did it, don't give it a thumbs down. Whatever. <laughs>
Whatever you want. As long as you and watch subscribe. the video, make sure you subscribe to my channel. And if you have any questions or feedback, please leave them in the description in the comment box below. And of course, if you want to answer the questions too, you can always leave that in the comment box below. And thank you for tuning in, and we'll see you in my next video. Bye.